James Rock Show. Mike from the Mike James Rock Show, and today I am at Bloodstock and uh, joined with Patrick from Fit for an Autopsy. That's Cheers. a bit of a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> um, you absolutely tore it apart on stage. Thank earlier, you very man. much. You personally and the rest of the band. Of course. How was it for you? It's the first time here, wasn't it? First time at Bloodstock for yeah. sure. Um, it was incredible. Um, the UK is great. We have a pretty strong following here, but today is something different, you know? It was absolute carnage. Like, yeah. as, soon as, as soon as you start, came on stage, people were bouncing, there was crowd yeah. surfing, the sun came out. Yeah, it was, it was a perfect culmination of all the things that you want to happen at a place like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How was the the last kind of week or so because you've been on tour around Europe as well haven't you at the yesterday moment? was pretty incredible um, but it's been bad weather um, our first festival was metal days and oh, if anybody's man. following what's been going on with the European you know festival circuit a lot of these um, fests have unfortunately been cancelled due to weather and yeah. that was one of them so we were stuck on top of a mountain in torrential downpours with like shoulder deep water running at a hundred miles an hour down the mountain Jeez. It was, we were watching trees getting ripped out and I was like holy shit we may it's not make it out of this literally the kind of stuff you see the, on the news <laughs> the roads opened and we hustled out and so you know the, the, then we got to uh, I think brought to Slava the next day and that okay. was a cool show you know yeah, so yeah. it's been good are you playing tracks off the aggression sessions uh, we're playing Hellions yeah yeah that's what so, I thought I, yeah that's what I thought you said when you were on stage I was like, yeah. I recognize this but I don't know if it's one of your old ones yeah. or one of your new um, ones <laughs> well there's two tracks on Hellion on uh, the aggression sessions and Hellions is our yeah. uh, original and then we did the at the gates cover how did that come about because we've uh, come in which it was Malefice we spoke about it and they were they were like yeah we've got this whole like kind of group thing going on yeah. where we're working in conjunction with each other so how has it been well your point of view? so there was another one before that called the depression sessions okay and that was us thy art and acacia strain so it's just kind of become this thing that us and I are do together we bring a third band and in it with the idea of like working on a community collaboration Love that. There's, there's always like a lot of weird competition in the music world and we think the punk and the hardcore scene have something special that maybe the metal scene misses on and that's doing splits yes. because it gets people in the studio together it gets people working together and creates a situation where the unhealthy competition goes away and you become friends and then you're working on something together and it changes the community in, in a whole. That's, so, you know, if you're into punk and hardcore, the best part about that scene is the idea that a lot of these bands work together and do these things. So we're trying to steal a little something from that and kind of maybe create more of um, a unity amongst bands and, and more creative collaborations. That's where it all starts from anyway. If you're, if you're a local band, for instance, you, you're on... Yeah, if you don't have a community, you don't have shows. 100%. Yeah, 100%. That's, yeah. It's, it's yeah. nuts. Is it, so is it something you're going to look at doing in the future? With yeah, we're going to do them. Um, as long as time and money and resources yeah, permit, yeah. we would love to do a million of them. It must, so. be, it must be a, a nice way of releasing creative juices that are outside of the band, because you've been sure. so long, you kind of know how each other's works. And then someone else from another band comes in. Right. Goes, oh. It's one of those things that a lot of people don't realize is that you get stagnant and again that competition of like doing a song on a record with a band like Thy Art yeah. who are very good at their jobs and very good at writing music and it becomes a thing where it's like okay well we got to step our game up so we can have healthy of course friendshipy competition yeah, the yeah. idea of like hey man we're gonna make a sick song so you better make a sick song too that's it you know and then you get this thing that happens and then malevolence on the last one awesome like those guys it's, yeah. it's really cool they did a weird off-the-wall cover that really worked for them and then their original is six so it's like it all works out and yeah. it definitely creates something that you know we didn't expect but it's really really cool i love it the, the, the whole thing we've, we've played every track off it on the show yeah it's, it's, it was that good it's just like wow and you get to do a cover like, who doesn't want to do a cool cover song exactly and it seems to be the way nowadays right like with the social media and stuff it's the cover will get the traction yep. to get people into your originals yep. and also expose this is going to sound weird but we did at the gates right so at the gates is a very important band for me okay I'm older i remember i think 95 96 that record drop yeah and uh 
now I can expose younger people that listen to us to the music I came up on. And instead of saying, oh, these guys sound like this modern band, they can go, oh, this modern band sounds like this band from the 90s that Fit is actually, you know, influenced by. And that, that kind of stuff is cool, you yeah. know what I mean? That's so awesome. it's, it's a really interesting way to do it. You've got some quite big tours coming up for the rest of the year as well, haven't we you? We do, Across yeah. the states, you've just done Canada. Yeah, we did Canada. Yeah. Um, we did a, head, a co-headliner with Acacia Strain. And then we have some festivals after this in the States. And then we come back to Europe and it's Spike, Fit for an Autopsy, Whitechapel, Thy Art is Murder, which is going to knock this whole country on its ass. Jeez. I don't know that there's a bigger, heavier tour. No. And then, and I'm not just blowing smoke up my own ass. Like it's literally a crazy tour to even be on. And then we go home and we do um, this uh, Headbangers boat with like oh, Lamb yeah, of God yeah. and Testament and Mastodon and all these bands that we shouldn't share a stage with. <laughs> or and a then, boat. Yeah, and then <laughs> we go out and we're doing uh, another tour and um, it's uh, Undeath, Darkest Hour, Exodus, Fit for an Autopsy. That's dark as well. That's yeah. such a different uh, range of bands as well. So that'll we open you up to new people. We love mixed genre bills and Works. Exodus are legends and to be able to kind of work with them and do that thing it's the whole tour is it's like definitely like bucket list shit nice, you know what man. I mean yeah is there any going to be any time to record new fit stuff yeah we're, we're talking about recording and, and writing right now I think next year the beginning of the year we're going to take some time off and cool. start trying to collaborate on writing and you know I know Will is starting to get ready and everybody knows that Will's the he's busy <laughs> yeah, but he's the main contributor with the writing yeah. so he'll start working on stuff and we'll start eating emailing and building songs and it'll go from there. That's cool man. Yeah. So I got distracted by Stan there from the Bloodstock. How's it going bud? <laughs> Pat, thanks very much for taking some time out. Yeah, absolutely. I really enjoyed the show earlier and awesome. your bright guitars. Thank you bro. They were awesome. Thanks very much man. Welcome to the My James Rock Show.